the monthly salary of a person was rupees 160000 he used to spend on three heads personal and family expenses taxes and education the rest was his savings that means salary is equal to his salary is equal to p plus t plus e and the rest were his savings now they say the rest, uh, okay, P was 50% of his income. P is equal to 50% of his income. E was 20% of P and T was 15% of P. When his salary got raised by 30%, he maintained the percentage level of P. But E became 30% of P and T became 20% of E. The sum of the two savings in rupees is so we already know that his monthly salary was 160000 but in order to reduce our calculations let's assume that his salary was 1000 p was 50% of his income that means 50% of 1000 is 500 next we know e was 20% of p so 20% means 1 by 5 that means e is 100 T was 15% of E. That means 50% of 100 is 15. Now, after subtracting 500, 600, 615 by, uh, from 1000, we are left with 385 as our savings. Then they say that his salary got raised by 30%. So, 1000 gets raised by 30%. So, the salary is now 1300. He maintains the percentage level of P. That means his personal and family expenses still stand at 50% of his income. So 50% of 1300 is 650. E becomes 30% of P. So 30% of 650 is how much? 195. And E becomes, no, and T becomes 20% of E. So 20% of 195 is 39 rupees. Now, after subtracting P, T and E from 1300, we get the savings as 416. So, what is our total saving? Total savings over here, we are, we have 385 plus 416, that is 801. Now, coming back to 160,000. 160,000 was the value of our assumed salary or income that is 1000 and we need to find the value of our savings that is 801 zero gets cancelled so 160 into 801 gives us 128160 rupees so the answer to this question is option b that is 128160